The awards were actually called acknowledgments. They were intentionally designed to acknowledge the contributions that artists made within this community, for this community, and for each other. None of these artists applied to our program for funding. They were just surprised by the awards that they received. Many of our recipients had organizations or entities that had served the public and the community for eight or 10 years. In the case of the Afro-American Music Institute, 25. That institution is in an economically distressed neighborhood and it's in what you might call a walking district where people don't always have access to private transportation or to very good public transportation. And although the Institute had shared with me that sometimes in the past stakeholders had recommended that they consider moving to other neighborhoods to share their uh, jazz music training educational programs with the broader community, they were absolutely set on staying in the neighborhood of Homewood to be um, a presence in that community. Another philosophical approach that the project took was that we believed that artists could make good, solid decisions around the implementation and use of funding and resources. In addition to making the cash awards, I figured out that photography would be the way in which I could represent the artists as contributors. And I thought that these photographs could be used to represent the effect that artists and other creative professionals had upon the community here in Pittsburgh. So instead of seeing the product, the painting the artist did, or the show that they put on, you saw them in the working environment, or you saw the collective working with its constituency to produce new work, inviting the public in. The photographic archive has over 2,000 high-resolution images, which we shared gratis with our acknowledgement recipients and the broader Pittsburgh community. A really good example of the way I approached advocacy through photography is Encyclopedia Destructica. They were one of our award recipients, and they're actually a bookmaking collective that gives out an award once a year, and that award is called the Flying Destructicate. In my interviews with artists, they told me how important the work of curators was to the development of their process and their product, and when I talked to some of the previous Flying Destructicates, or some of the artists who work with Encyclopedia Destructica, they were empowered by that collective to become curators themselves, to curate people and other artists' work that they admired into volumes of books. They also had an opportunity to have their work distributed and in, in an inexpensive fashion and in a really efficient fashion, right? Their work could be distributed outside the gallery so someone didn't need to have access to a gallery or be culturally familiar with walking into a gallery to see their work. The other thing about Encyclopedia Destructica's contribution to community is that they invited the public in every Wednesday night or every other Wednesday night to come in and bind books. So the books were not just made by Jazz Deep and Chris sitting around putting them together, but a community of people from Pittsburgh came together to do this repetitive work, this, these complicated tasks, and then to have some beer and to build community around that. So in supporting artists, we realized that we needed to support their environment. We needed to help curators. We needed to help bookmaking collectives. We needed to help people who shared information with them about health care when they were in need. The thing that really resonates for me as an artist who led this project is that issue of advocacy, of viewing artists as contributors to community. The sense that we're not people looking for our next grant, we're not people just looking for a handout, but that we have really substantial and profound contributions to make to community in terms of education, in terms of conversation, in terms of liveliness, in terms of making Pittsburgh a really livable place.